This began as a scrappy contest with Worcester making mistakes and Gloucester failing to punish them. But it took something simple to get the home side going. Once hooker James Hansen had started and finished a line-out move, the Cherry and Whites were up and running. Literally so, just five minutes later, Danny Cipriani sending Jason Woodward through a gap in the Warriors' back line and Charlie Sharples completing the score. But Gloucester didn't run away with the contest and thanks to three Duncan Weir penalties, Worcester trailed by just one point at the break. That prompted the home side's second purple patch of the afternoon and this time both elements of their game combined impressively. A strong maul did the damage before Owen Williams' clever offload gave Ollie Thorley a route to the line. Gloucester had found a formula that worked, so they stuck to it. Just six minutes later, the forwards made the hard yards again. Williams provided the cutting edge, and scrum half Willie Heinz sent Freddie Clark over for the bonus point try. Worcester's one and only victory at this ground came nine and a half years ago, and their fading hopes of a repeat disappeared completely with Chris Pennell's aerial challenge on Sharples. The fullback yellow carded. And while he was missing, Gloucester rubber-stamped another win at Fortress Kingso. That maul again, setting up a score for replacement hooker Jaco Visagi, just a minute after he came on, his first for the club. And three minutes after that, Gloucester's sixth try, party piece time for the backs, before Thorley tore through a demoralised defence for his second of the game. With a quarter to play, the Warriors must have feared a real walloping. Instead, they provided the game's final try through Bryce Heem, but their inconsistency and poor away form means it's one step forward and two back at the moment for Worcester. For Gloucester, two good quarters added up to a convincing win. How much closer to the top two would they be if they could deliver for all four?